Hi, Hazel. Hello, Eric. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. How are you doing? How was your day? Did you work today, Hazel? Yes, I did. You did. Okay. What do you do? What is your occupation, Hazel? I am export agent. An export, like exportations. Yes. You yes. export. Ah, okay. Yes. And where do you work? Mm, I work in the court. Is the name of the factory. Ah, okay. All right. I didn't know. How long have you been working in the same company? Mm, since uh, 2010. Ah, okay. 12 years. Yes. It's been it's been a long time. Yes. <laughs> okay, good to have you in the class, Hazel. What about you, Anna? What did you do to fix your problem? Was it the connection or what was happening? Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I, I have been a problem when I uh, into the, the, the link. Mm -hmm. But eh, I don't know how do you say había quedado como pegado. Page? It was, uh -huh, it got paste or paste. Uh -huh. in uh -huh, the paste, the platform Zoom. And uh, I know. Like stock, como trabado. It was like stock. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. And okay. don't, don't, I don't, I don't, I can. I couldn't. I access. couldn't mm -hmm. access, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. But finally, right, you made it. <laughs> I did now it. Now you're here, <laughs> you did it. Okay, Anna, welcome. Good to have you in the class. So guys, good evening to all of you. I hope you are doing well. Today we will have a little review and we will continue talking about our physical appearance and personalities. Okay. So let's begin. First, I wanted to give you an idiom. We will start with that. Okay, uh, this, an idiom. Do you know what an idiom is, Angelica? Idiom, have you heard that before? Idioma? <laughs> mm, that will be language. <laughs> okay, Angelica, but thank you. Do you know that, Catherine? What is an idiom? Sorry? What is an idiom? What is an idiom? Uh -huh. What does idiom mean? Do you know? Uh, uh, idiom is like a... En la lengua, no sé cómo se dice, lengua nativa ah. de cada país. Ah, language. Cada país. Language. Uh, uh -huh. Ah, language. Ah, okay. All right, Catherine. Thank you. It's something different because that will be language. But an idiom in English, it's a phrase you use. That means, well, that has, I'm going to put it like this, that has a figurative We call them idiomatic expressions. For example, this is the one we will study today, swamped. Yes, that's the one we will study today. The word swamp, it's an idiom. Hazel, do you have a comment? No, no. no sorry. Ah, okay. Okay, in, in Spanish, we also have these phrases. It's like a phrase that you use, but is it doesn't have like a literal meaning. 
is like an expression we use. We have Salvadorian expressions. For example, when something is very difficult, we use the expression esta yuca. Maybe you use that expression, but it's not because it's similar to one yuca, right? It's because it's something difficult. It's a phrase. In English, we also have phrases. They are called idioms. And this is one, swamp. It means to be very busy. I can say, I was very busy today. That's the normal form. But if you want to, you can use the expression, I was swamp. swamped. Swamped today. It has the same meaning, but I'm using the expression. Or I can say, okay, she will be very busy tomorrow. Okay, that will be the normal form. Or you can use the expression, she will be very busy, I'm sorry, <laughs> she will be swamped. Uh, tomorrow. Okay, the only thing I did was to change this very busy and I use swamped that has the same meaning. So North American people or native speakers, they use idioms a lot, the same way you do in Spanish. That is normal in, in English too. So this is one. Do you understand the meaning of idiom? Was it clear or not, not yet? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, good, Anna. Angelica, do you have a question? Uh, it's very similar to the phrase, it's a piece of cake. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Yes, ah, okay. a piece of cake is also an idiom because it's not like a, a literal piece of cake, right? It's something that is very easy. Uh -huh. So okay. it's the same with teacher. Better. Yes, Anna? Uh, uh, I know, I know the, uh, these expressions are similar as phrases uh, there. Mm. It could be similar, uh -huh, because a phrasal verb is when you use the preposition, the meaning of the verb changes completely. So it could be similar, but they are different because these are phrases. But yes, in, in some somehow, yeah, they are kind of similar, Anna. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, can you give me one example, please? Can you make one sentence, please, using swamp? Please think about one example using swamp. And if it's not clear, please let me know. Si aún no está claro, pueden hacérmelo saber. Yo con gusto les explico mejor. I don't understand. Ok, no problem, Lisette. Idiom es como un dicho, por así decirlo. Una frase que utilizan en inglés que no tiene un significado literal, sino figurativo. El que estamos viendo hoy es swamp. Swamp significa estar muy ocupado. Entonces, tiene en primer lugar, Lisette, la forma tradicional donde utilizamos very busy, I was very busy today, pero puede utilizar también el dicho, I was, y ahora ya no decimos very busy, decimos swamp, today. Depende del tiempo, usted ya modifica el verbi. Puede es ser el equivalente entonces, de very, very busy. busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Lo Thank utiliza you. como un adjective. Ajá. Con el okay. verbi. Okay. okay. 
who is ready? Who has the example? You can send it in the chat or you can read it. Your ideas are going to help the class. Let's begin with Alfredo. Alfredo, can you read your example, please? Yes, good evening. Good evening. I am going to swim in my job. Thank you, Alfredo. Just be, add the, the word be. I'm going to be swamp in my okay, job. Okay. Thank you, Alfredo. Okay, Catherine, could you continue? Could you read your example? Okay, I am swamp right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Catherine. Good job. Yes, Anna, continue. Uh, can I read, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. I'll be swamped tomorrow because I will have class all day. Yes, Ana. Thank you. That's correct. Are you ready, Guillermo? Oh, no, I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. What about you, Robert? Do you have it? Sorry. Come again. I couldn't hear you. Uh, I say an example or, mm -hmm. or or my case. Both. Any any one anything you want. Let me see. If you if you're not ready, you can think about it. Just let me know. Let me know when you have it, Robert. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who else is ready? Who is ready? Me, teacher. Has... Ah, okay, Angelica. What is your idea? Uh, my boss has worked a lot. He's been swamped. He is swamped. Ah, he is swamped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Angelica. Just that change. The, the rest was okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hazel. In this case, we will change the verb to past tense. I was swamp this morning, this morning at the office. And the same with you, Lisette, that's correct. Okay, can you think about three things or different things that make people swamp? What are some things that make you swamp? Yolanda, what about you? Do you have a, an idea? Something that makes people swamp? Um, an event? Eh. In this moment, no teacher. Not right now. Okay. What about you, Mario? Let me know when you when you have your idea, Yolanda. Can you tell me okay. something that makes people swamp, Mario? Voy entrando, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's fine. Eric and you? I will put it in the chat. Something that makes people swamp. I will give you an, an example. Weddings. Weddings, that, that is something that makes people swamp. They have many things to do. Alfredo? Do you have another idea? When, when the people uh, make um, homework, for example. Homework assignments. Mm -hmm. That can make you feel swamp. Anna? When the people planning a birthday. Mm -hmm. Planning parties. Yeah, that's another event. What else can make someone feel like that? Very busy. 
We have weddings, parties, homework, more activities that you have in mind? Pane Ramirez or mm -hmm. Ana? Uh -huh. uh, for example, um, in my work, uh, my, uh, I don't know, how do you say, compañeras de trabajo? Co-workers. Uh -huh, Co-workers. Uh, mm -hmm. They plan. Uh, they planning the meeting when in person is, or uh, any any companies for the ex exportar to export. Uh -huh, to export. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. So maybe sometimes many activities at the same time. Maybe family, jobs, or work university, social life can make people feel swamp. Okay. Do you have any questions about this idiom? Any questions or comments? No? no. Teacher, uh -huh. y, y esta, este idiom está como en pasado. Es que no se me confunde que tenga el I de al final. No, it's, that's the form. Esa es la, la manera. I, por ejemplo, este, excited, también es, es así, solo que terminan, tienen este, un ED ending, excited, married. Hay varios que, que terminan con ED, pero como son adjectives, así funcionan. No se Ajá. modifican. Okay. Uh -huh. Swamp teacher is, yes. uh, es como demasiado. Very busy, muy ocupado. Okay. Ese es el, el significado, estar muy ocupado. Uh -huh. Okay, so in that case, let's continue. I will change the, the whiteboard. And there are two questions that I wanted to mention. Okay. Okay, there are two types of questions. Maybe this is something that you that you did when you were working on your on your platform. Okay. We have question number 1. How do you look like How is, how is he? Okay, those two questions. Question number one, when you ask the first question, that question refers to your physical appearance. This question. It's about your physical appearance. Like I can say, how does Shakira look like? I want to know her physical appearance. Shakira's physical appearance, okay? Her body, the way she looks. But if I say, okay, tell me about Shakira. How is Shakira? I want to know about her personality. Question number two is about your interior, okay? Your heart, your personality. Okay, so in your case, Vane Ramirez, how does Shakira look like? Can you try to describe her physical appearance? Are you there, Fanny? Some basic aspects. Or Yolanda? Can you tell me some, some characteristics? Shakira's characteristics? She's, um, is, uh, is, I, como es, slim, 
How do you say delgado? Slim is, is a good option because it's like a good body. Not just thin, but mm -hmm, she has a good body. Okay. She's slim. One um, other characteristic. And she's... Um, well, she, she, ha, she has a blonde hair. Thank you. And remember that we mentioned that when we say that, we have this other option, right? She's got blonde hair. Thank you. What about you, Catherine? Can you mention another characteristic about Shakira's physical appearance? We have her body, her hair, something else you can add, Catherine? She, she's got a uh, white skin. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We can say she's, she's got white skin. Thank you. So we, we think about her physical appearance. Now, if you want to know about her personality, you have to ask this question. How is Shakira? We don't know her, right? So we're going to uh, create some conclusions. Lisette, how is Shakira? Imagine Shakira is your best friend or is a relative. <laughs> so Lisette, how is Shakira? Are you there, Lisette? Or maybe she's not there. Marlon, how is Shakira? Can you tell us one, one thing about her? Okay, uh, Shakira is very intelligent and smile. She's a good person. And what was the and second one? Smile. Ah, like. Ah, okay. Right. Intelligent and smiley. And she is a good person. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you. So now in the second case, Marlon talk about her personality. Okay. So there are two options. In past tense, if you want to use past tense, just change the verb. Okay. This is going to be one example in past tense. Okay, that's present tense. Past tense, you can say, okay. You can ask, there are two options, how or what? Two possibilities or two alternatives. What did Michael Jackson look like? Okay, past tense, did. Present tense, do or does. So, what did Michael Jackson look like? Let's begin with Hazel. Can you tell us, do you still remember Michael Jackson's appearance? Yes. <laughs> she was very slim. He was slim. Thank you. And you say was, right? Because it's past tense. He was very slim. Okay. Thank you, Hazel. Anna, something else we can say about Michael Jackson? Okay. He um, he wrote uh, he wrote uh, a lot of song. But oh, in in this question, it has to be about her appear his appearance. Appearance. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, 
he he was a curly curly hair uh, he had he had, he had curly, curly hair hair curly hair yes thank you anna now alfredo we will talk about the other question about the personality how was michael jackson past tense alfredo can you tell us something you imagine because you never met michael jackson right so it's just one idea yes mm, he was kind he was kind mm -hmm. thank you alfredo angelica how was michael jackson uh, he was very enthusiastic mm -hmm. Thank you, Angelica. Okay. And then you can continue. You can give or add more, more aspects. Did you understand the, the use of the questions? Or do you have questions for me? Entendimos o hay alguna parte que no quedó muy, muy clara? Yes, I understand. You understand. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. So in that case, let's continue. I would like you to think about one family member and describe your family member, okay? I'm going to put it here just to make sure. Choose a family member and describe him or her? A little description about him or about her. Some of you can send it by chat and others will read it. Vamos a leer algunos y a otros solo va a ser en el chat, okay? Un family member, un miembro de su familia y cómo es, okay? You can talk about the personality and physical appearance. I'll give you a moment. Anna? It's here. Uh, we describe in past tense. Only if he or she is deaf. Solo si está muerto. But okay. if not, in present tense. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes, Marlon. Eh, casi no escuché lo que tenemos que hacer. Creo que me puede repetir yes, por favor. Sure. Por... Choose a family member. Escoja a un miembro de su familia y haga una pequeña descripción sobre cómo es él o ella. Ok. Please. Thank you. You can send it in the chat or you can read it. Vamos a leerlas y otras las vamos a solo escuchar. Both of them. Be sure. Tell me. Uh, we we can write or only save the describe the people. You both options. Are you ready, uh, Guillermo? Uh, only for describe, yes, but for okay. write no. Okay, you can uh, just well, say it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I am talking about my uh, my wife. Uh, she's uh, so friendly. She's uh, uh, short. She's slim, and she has a uh, brownish skin. Um, mm -hmm. her hair is black, 
and brown eyes and oval face and it's so friendly. Oh, okay, what a beautiful description about your wife. Thank you, Guillermo. Thank you very much. We will wait a moment to listen to your classmates' uh, descriptions and then we will continue. Thank you, Alfredo. Excellent job. You know, only two changes. I think you got confused at the end and you said she is. So in this case, it will be he is. He is Sorry. unhappy. Sorry. Yes. Uh, I, uh, yeah, okay. He only is. Sorry. And when you talk about the, the nose, you can say his. His nose or. Yeah, yeah, yes. Sorry. Uh -huh. Or he has hook nose. Yes. Just those two changes. How old are you, Alfredo? Uh, hello. How old are Hi. you? I'm um, 32. How old are you? 32. And your brother, he's middle age, like around 45 yes. or over. Oh, okay. It's a big difference in age. Yeah. He's like 10 years older than you, right? No more, maybe like 15. Uh, no. Interesting. Middle age, yeah, I think the middle age, is, but it's the, como rango. It's 45 but, to 60, to 65. Okay. So young, he's young is younger. Él es, John es menor. Y... Yes, yes. Ah, ok. John, it will be joven. So... Uh, middle age, for example, is for my, for my. For your age, I will go with adult. He is an adult. Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. middle age will be then de 45 a uh, ah, 65 okay. años. Okay. In this case, my brother is it, it, young. Ah, okay. How old is he, you said? Like 40? My brother? Uh-huh. No, he's 28. Ah, okay, yes. Uh-huh, so, yeah, he... But I will say that he's still young, right? 28, siento todavía que está joven. Bueno, tal vez porque es parecida a mi edad, so I guess that's, that's why. Okay, Alfredo. Thank you, but just those two changes. Angelica, can you read your description, please? Yes, teacher. My mother is a very straightforward person. She tells you what she thinks, and if you don't like her thoughts, she doesn't care. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Still, she is very kind. Uh, she's uh -huh. got a uh, short gray hair and has brown eyes. Excellent. Thank you, Angelica. And what about you? Are you like her? Are you straight no. forward too? 
it's the ¿cómo se dice contrario? Ah, yes, it's the opposite yes. ah, okay. I'm not That's very straightforward ah, Okay, but very good description Thank you, Angelica Let's okay. continue with Mario Mario, can you read your description, please? Okay, my mother-in-law She's plump mm -hmm. She's a person elderly She's got a beautiful brown eyes And white hair She's very friendly with all people And I help everyone Ah, okay, yeah, very good characteristics. Thank you, Mario. Yes. Just one change. She okay. is an elderly person. First the adjective and then the noun. And okay. at the end, you have two verbs, use the preposition too. She likes to help. Okay. Uh -huh. That's one Thank you. for help. Thank you, Mario. Okay, now Hazel, can you continue, please? Okay, um, I have a son. His name is Alejandro. He is nine years old. He is tall and a little bit, a little bit plump. He have a big round eyes, two big round eyes, mm -hmm. a square face. A small now, nose, thin lips, and he wears red glasses. He is um, very intelligent and kind, but is but he is too very. No sé cómo se dice temperamental. La palabra me falta. Ah, uh, eso sería como mal temperamento, right? Oh no. Yes. Sí. He has bad temper. A bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Wendy. Good description. I can even imagine him because you describe <laughs> his face. So thank you very much. I only have one change. He has because okay. it's a, a third person. Okay. Thank you, Hazel. Now let's continue with Heidi and then we listen to Yolanda. You are describing your son too. Yeah, Rodrigo. Rodrigo is my son. He's seven years old. He started first grade. He started, he is passive chill. I put to his study. He really likes be very cold. He, ah, uh, really? Uh -huh, pero, oh, uh -huh, no. pero, sorry, que. I simply three women. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was about to say that, but sometimes it's the computer, right? Or we <laughs> later see it. So that's okay. Thank you, Haiti, for the description, Rodrigo's description. And then Yolanda, can you read yours, please? Okay. Uh, my son, his name is Dylan, is very tall for his age. He is medium height. He's got black hair and brown eyes. He's very friendly, bright, and honest. Thank you, Yolanda. Wonderful description, too. And Thank then you. let me check. Wendy, uh -huh. you describe your sister, right? Uh -huh. Okay, she likes to visit Proatan. That's very nice. Uh, just one change, Wendy. I noticed that you use for his for his job. We will change that and we will say for her, for, for her him. job, mm -hmm. because it's a, a woman, right? But besides that, it's correct, Wendy. Thank you. Okay. I was checking the chat and I will check Eric's description, Emily, Adriana. Okay. Okay, Eric, your description is very well too. Maybe just the structure will be better at the beginning, but the second part is perfect when you talk about her personality. So thank you. We will continue, guys. If you haven't sent your description, you can do it now by chat here, or you can send it to me later. Okay, I will just read Anna's, Anna's description. I choose your mother, okay? Anna, too. Ah, okay. Thank you, Anna. 
it's such a, a shame that she is no longer with you. When did she pass away? Did she die a long time ago? Anna, did your mom die long time ago? I'm sorry, teacher. Yes, uh, she died when I was a child. I oh. have uh, 12 years old. You were 12. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, she, oh, 17 years, she died. 17 years, I think she died. 18? Ah, it's que ya long, right? mm -hmm. But it's always yes. difficult, right? It's uh, uh, I imagine yes. that it must be very difficult to lose one of your parents. Yes. So I'm yes. sorry for your loss, Anna. Thank you Thank for you, the, the, the message. Okay, so I will continue. You can send your message. Yo lo seguiré leyendo en un momento. Lo pueden enviar ahí. Dice, ya voy a, a revisar el suyo en un momento. Y si no lo han enviado, lo pueden mandar también al grupo. Let's continue. Here we have three people. We have Roger, Claire, and James. We have descriptions for them, and you have to choose the right option, okay? So let's begin with Robert. Are you there, Robert? Yes. Okay. Can you help me with the first two? The first two things about Roger. Well, the first three. You have to choose Roger. the right description. Uh -huh. uh, old man, he doesn't work. He's a re retired worker. He is, he is a... a of medium height, oh. and he is a uh, slim. He has a uh, no. He has got short. Mm -hmm. He is short or slim. 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 Do you think so? To me, he looks plump, but I can, I can, because slim is a thin person who looks attractive. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Slim so, is como, is like handsome. Aha, uh -huh. a thin person with a good body. Ah, sorry, I was uh, plump. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the meaning plump? Plump, it's like rellenito. Like he has a circular form. Alguien que tiene una forma circular. It's like a chubby? Huh? It's like chubby. Okay. He has a good short. Mm. Good short. Any other possibility? No. Pero short, no. I understand this part, teacher. Okay, that's fine. Let's ask for help. But thank you for your help, Robert. Wendy, can you help Robert with the second part? He has a good short now. Or you, Mark? Ah, for ser uno, un metro setenta, uh, maybe he's long. Mm -hmm. Has got long. Like uh, where? Brown hair and black eyes. Brown hair. Uh -huh. Brown and black, and black eyes. eyes. Uh -huh. Those are the best choices. And okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, guys, let's choose the private chat. Por favor, escojan la, la opción privada del chat. Recuerden que ahí pueden enviarme mensajes privados. Donde dice everyone o dice todos. Hay una flecha y ahí pueden seleccionar inglés corporativo. So please choose that option and help me with number two. Por favor envíenme sus opciones, su opinión de la número dos. Que va con Claire. Read the description, lean la descripción y vean las opciones. 
I will give you a moment. En un momento vamos a, a confirmar si todos tenemos lo mismo. But make sure it's a private message. Solo asegúrense de que escojan inglés corporativo para el mensaje. Thank you, Mario. Just hold on one moment. In two minutes, we will check. We will check the answers together. En dos minutos vamos a revisar todos. Ahorita solo tengo un mensaje. Solo tengo el de Mario. Okay. So we will wait. Vamos a esperar los otros 15 mensajes. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue together. Vane Ramirez, can you read your answers, please? Claire, Vane. Vane Ramirez, are you there? Yoland, Yolanda, can you read your answer please okay Claire is a fortune teller mm -hmm. at a circus mm -hmm. she's young she's tall and she's slim she has long curly brown hair and blue eyes yes great and blue eyes, right? Yeah, they look blue. Excellent job, Yolanda. Thank you. Now, the last one, guys, number three. The same dynamic. Vamos a hacer lo mismo, pero ahora con la número tres, la última. Going to wait, and, and then we will check your answers. Can I say, teacher? Um, just hold on a moment, Robert. We will just wait for your classmates to send the messages and then yes, you can you can answer.
Okay, I already got some messages. Uh, Robert, yes, if you wish, you can help us with, with the last one. Can I start? Yes, please. James is a musician. Musician. Room. Hmm? Musician. James is a musician. Mm -hmm. a, he is tall and he is plump. Mm -hmm. a long red hair. He is wearing sunglasses. No, glasses, nada más. Glasses. Glasses. And he is old. He is old. Okay, yes, good answers. Thank you, Robert. You guys have the same, the same answer as Robert. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Any comments or questions about this? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre curly y strange? Straight, this is straight. straight. And curly is, is like the, my hair yesterday. Straight okay. es el liso, <laughs> pelo liso. <laughs> y curly ya es el coloche. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, any other questions? More questions, guys? No? Okay, the last part of the class is going to be pronunciation, okay? To, to help you practice your pronunciation. We will talk about Mr. Miller. Please listen to me and then we will listen to some of you. Okay, I'm an English teacher. I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon, and then I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in my bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay. So now it will be your turn. We will start with Amanda. Amanda, are you there? Okay, yes, there teacher. you are. Hi, Amanda. Can you read the part that is in blue? La parte que está en azul, Amanda, please. Okay. I am English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. Uh, first, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by seven thirty. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room. Teachers room. Thank you, Amanda. Good pronunciation. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Lisette. Can you help us, Lisette, with the second part? Yeah. 
I teach again, again in the afternoon and then I correct my student homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids while their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel show. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, now let's make it funnier. Lo vamos a hacer más divertido. I'm going to say it fast, and then Alfredo, you have to do it at the same pace as me. Yo lo voy a hacer rápido, y usted, Alfredo, lo va a hacer a la misma velocidad que yo, o más. O más rápido, Alfredo, ¿ok? Porque está muy fácil, ¿verdad? Así que le vamos a subir el, el challenge, el desafío. Ok, Alfredo. Stopwatch. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at 6 o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock, I prepare my lesson, and then I teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch, talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon, and then I correct my students' homework and tests. Ready? No. Okay. <laughs> wow. 23 seconds. Okay, but if you want to, okay, 30 seconds. Okay, okay. ready, Alfredo? Yes. Okay, let's do it. I'm an English teacher and have a big family. So I have a very good Italian routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get watch and dresses, and leave for work. Be 73, I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare this lesson on them. Uh, teach until noon. The other teacher and I and always eat lunch until to their and the teacher's rooms. I teach again in the afternoon and then encourage my students homework and tests. Excellent. Okay, good job, Alfredo. I know it's difficult. Look at your score. 28 seconds. Okay, so just like four or five seconds more than me. Okay, now let's try with um, Guillermo. Guillermo, the same part. Around 28 seconds. Are you ready, Guillermo? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Uh, okay. Only... Give me a second. Yes. The first step, right? I am. Yes. I am a teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by 7 30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I cover my students' homework and tests. Thank you. Okay, the time was 34 seconds. Let's do this. Okay, take a screenshot and try to practice over the weekend. On Monday, I'm going to keep track of your score. Tómenle una captura de pantalla, practíquenlo durante el fin de semana y traten de hacerlo en alrededor de 27 segundos. Okay? 27, 25 seconds. Okay? Practice the speed, the fluency. Okay? En Monday, lo vamos a hacer together. Los escucho a, a todos. Ready? ¿Ya la tomaron? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Yes, teacher. So that's it, guys. We will continue on Monday. Have a nice weekend. See you. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.